I can't believe that I'm having my first New York shows in the span of one week, just a couple weeks before I leave town. Yeah, leave it to New York, guys! Ah. Hey guys, welcome back to a painter's vlog. Today I'm gonna to be taking you with me to Ho Hum 3 at Bravenly Programs. I was invited into this group exhibition by Tom Sanford, an artist who I very much highly respect and admire. I actually met him at Deborah and Hubert Newman's and he's just such a sweetheart. So he sent me an invite about a month and a half ago. I created a, a piece specifically for this show and I'm honored to be showing with some of my favorite artists and also friends. So I'm gonna be heading up to Bottino's Super Classic. I just took a shower wearing my cute pink robe. Um, also, Claire Malik and MK Meter are coming by with a truck and picking up all of my framed pieces to be hung at the island in Midtown. They're gonna be hanging for an entire year until December of 2020, so my presence will remain here in New York. So stick with me, I promise I'll look a little bit better and I don't know, right? Now, this is my final look, so I decided to go a little bit holiday sparkle, so I have my vintage choker here. These are all um, obviously not real diamonds, but super cute. Got it in a thrift store, and I also have my chunky barrette, glitz and glamour. Yeah, decided to go with the Christmas theme and just kind of turn out, and then I have my blue velvet dress and classic tie-up boots. All right, so here's the paintings all framed up and ready to go. There are five of them. Hopefully they have some moving blankets in the van. Um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna see these paintings for a full year. Goodbye, American Displacement. I'm very proud of this body of work. I do all my frames with Westfall framing. Oh, shoot, I gotta, I'll write back. I gotta um, stand that down. All right, guys, I can't believe it. They're here all the way from Chicago. The curator, Claire Mollick. Uh, <laughs> Buffalo, I really need charging phone. Um, oh yeah, one of us needs to charge. Charge it. Oh yeah, charge it up, dude. There's a, there's a wire right there. Goodbye, piss bottle. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, so getting the works out. These guys got a minivan. Holy shit, guys. Can't believe I'm showing in New York was such an amazing group of artists. And right before I head to Cambodia, what a blessing. It's gonna be such a fun night. I always get on such a high before I show my work. That's how out there they are. Jennifer also has a piece of the show. Yeah. Look at this jacket. All right, guys, for the record, look at the moon. We are showing a Bravenly programs tonight with the full moon. We've known each other since. It's the last full moon. Oh, wow. Of the, of what? The, yes, of the decade. The oh! Oh! <laughs> New York, baby. What's up? <laughs>
Alfred Wuff. So, Steiner. <laughs> Saskia's happy. They both yeah. just wrapped up their semester. Yeah. And Julia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! The city is alive. It was so much fun, and thank you so much to Tom Sanford for the invite, and to Karen and John for being so gracious and hosting such a beautiful show. I hope you guys get continue to receive mad respect in your creation, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Hey guys, so welcome to a new day. It is now Friday. Okay, let me get my day straight. It is the day after the exhibition at Bravenly. Woke up pretty tired today. I had my private client up in Williamsburg at 8.30 in the morning, which means I had to get on the train by 7.30, and then I came back. I just trained my client, Jen, in the neighborhood, and now the amazing Nadine Robbins is going to come to my home all the way from upstate New York to, we're gonna do a photo shoot. So she's planning on including me in her new series of women, and I am super honored. She is such a highly talented artist. I think that we became Facebook friends like probably four or five years ago just through art, and my first time meeting her was just hopping around Chelsea one night. Um, I saw her outside of Michael Lyons Weir Gallery. So that was kind of an awesome moment, but um, she is probably about 10-15 minutes away. For photographing your subjects as well as your, the people that you paint, the figurative work you, you said you do. Yeah. This fosters intuition. Okay. This, uh, I don't know what that is. Yes. Anyway, so I go like this. Thing, okay. I'm just sitting on the floor. Literally, that's it. <laughs> and then I'll just bring my arm back. And I started imagining this like little house and then there were these rain clouds and it started raining money. And so sometimes in the yard, it won't be raining, but there'll still be money scattered around the yard. And then other times the storm's rolling in. So, so I truly believe that if you're putting out abundance and you're gonna attract it. And, yeah, and, and, and so it's similar to just, you can't, it's the type of stuff that you can't, it's not concrete, it's just something else is going on. If you're feeling the abundance before it actually happens, your mind and your body actually physiologically feel that. So there's this momentum like feeling love before you have love, feeling wealthy before you actually have the wealth. And it's like, there's something about that, dude. It's like, you know what? It crazy is crazy voodoo shit, man. Right? Oh my god, we just caught that whole conversation on camera. <laughs> I'm taking just a little bit of B footage for my vlog. Oh, okay. Hi guys. Did Maybe I say Robbins anything? Is here. Woo! Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, did I that. say anything bad? <laughs> oh, I never shit talk anybody. Okay, it's time to turn the camera off. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it was not on, right? Now we're still. Oh shit, dude. Oh. Heading to the States. Eli, get down here. Just soaking in the last moments. Um, this is my last time I'm going to be here probably until 2020. Sometime in 2020. So. So, Act One at Hubert Newman's and Zebra's was, as always, excellent. And we're heading to this space right now. Our first time visiting this space. Alright, let's go! Uh, what floor is it? Penthouse. What? Yay. Hi, Vahid Shafian. I love you. Marcelo Eli. Look at the Ariel Baldwin. Thelonious. Jasmine Peterson. Alexis Menelik. I meant I 
Jim Denny. So kind of as an outro to this video because I didn't really film one yet. It is now Tuesday, December, what's the date today? It is now Tuesday, December 17th. And tonight is another private reception for that same show that I already gave a little bit of footage for. As you can see, it's hung beautifully. The curator for the show was one of my best friends in the whole world, Claire Malik, And her and I have been working together for about 10 to 12 years. And we actually had met through Tony Fitzpatrick when we worked for him in Chicago. And I just feel blessed. I feel blessed to have had two shows in New York in one week. That's kind of insane considering I've never really been in a show in New York. There was one show a couple years ago, but it was kind of a smaller affair. So I just feel really blessed. And in, in kind of a comedic term, I, I feel like New York is an abusive lover. So... And by that, you know, I'm saying it cheekily, but by that I just mean as soon as you say that you're going to leave her, she says, no, no, please don't leave me. And she treats you with love and affection and just lavishes you with everything that you ever wanted. And for me, in this case, it's just having the two exhibitions back to back in December, the month before I'm going to leave to Cambodia for a while. Um, but it, it's fine because the bottom line is New York will always be here, but with that being said, New York is eternally saying, no, don't leave me, don't leave me. And then if you stay, if you decide to stay, then she kicks your ass again and you're laying bruised and beaten on the sidewalk. But you know, that's one of the things I love about New York. I love the work ethic here. I love that there's such a high bar. There's such a high standard for quality and for ambition and for really just reaching for that which you've always wanted. And I love that there's a gold standard here and it takes a lot to reach that upper level. So I really, really appreciate that grind. With that being said, I just, one of the reasons I'm going to Cambodia as well is I just kind of want to take a moment to relax, reflect, um, not have to deal with certain aspects of the city, such as the transportation, the fact that it takes an hour to get everywhere, um, the weather, and just a multitude of other factors. And I just want to take a breather for a moment and just exist in another culture. With that being said, New York is my first love. I spent my whole life working, striving to get to New York. I didn't expect to fall in love with another place. So I, it is possible to love two places at once and I will be back New York. So this is not an ending. This is totally a beginning and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm also excited to carve a niche in Southeast Asia and try my hand at markets in Bangkok or Singapore. And I know that that's a really burgeoning market right now. And I'll also be close to Australia. I'm showing in um, April or is it March? I'm showing a piece in March. So I'm doing a really, really special painting for that. I cannot wait to share that with you. Haven't even started it yet, but I already have the whole photo shoot and idea ready at hand. All right, so you guys, as usual, I am digressing. So um, just as my closeout, tonight we're gonna have another private reception for the people who own the space that I'm showing works in. So as I mentioned, I have five paintings up there and I feel like something great's gonna happen tonight. So maybe I'll share that with you guys later. But thank you guys so much for joining me on this wild ride. I can't believe that I'm having my first New York shows in the span of one week, just a couple weeks before I leave town. 
yeah, leave it to New York, guys. Ah! As you can tell, I'm over the moon. Reality is pretty awesome. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to just seeing what the next year has or what comes in the next year. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.